Hello everyone, it's Dan and our video trade 2000, also known as Dan2010, right here, back again, and I've got the money in the bank matches here for me to predict this time. Last time I couldn't predict them in time because I had so much work to do. I, I was just, you know, work comes before YouTube, well, YouTube isn't my work, so I'm left to just bring it on, bitches. Because we have, we've had two pay-per-views in the month of June. One of them was the Elimination Chamber, and this one is the Money in the Bank. It's this Sunday! And I'm going to go through picture by picture. It doesn't matter. They're all going to be random. Now, I will make my predictions for that match. But there's Money in the Bank match and the Devolution Chip map match, but bank match, I will make a full-on prediction of what I think is actually going to happen. So not only what I think who is going to win, got up first. The f I'm going to go for the through the matches, and I will go and start off with the kickoff. The kickoff matchup is our truth is being flip flopped between being in the actual main. Being in the actual main section of the pay per view, being in the actual pay per view, and being in the kickoff. He once again is in the kickoff, and this time is going one on one with King Barrett. Poor fucking King Barrett. I mean, seriously, what's with the fucking King Barrett winning the King in a ring? And he's won a couple of matches here and there, but also. He's in the kickoff show of Money in the Bank against Our Truth. Our Truth has won against Stardust, lost against Stardust. I don't know. He's being shuffled around. But these that's what happens when you're a mid carder, to be honest. But King Barrett versus Our Truth. Who do I think is going to win this and who do I want to win this? I want Our Truth to win this. But I think that King Barrett's going to get the, the win here. So it could go either way. It's not a match in particular that I actually care about. I mean, uh, it's going to be tough, and then as I go through him here, I ain't got the next match up here, and uh, that I kind of don't care about, is once again, Nikki Bella the Fenty, the Divas Championship, against Paige. Last time on Smackdown, there was, or oh, I think it was Raw, they did a little bit of twin magic, which I watched Grimm's reactions to Monday Night Raw, and he is absolutely right. The twin magic does not work anymore. But, with that being said, I want Paige to win, but I think Nikki Bella is going to win, because once again, they are, uh, I think that that's what's going to happen, I'm not going to watch it as usual, I'm going to get my Xbox One controller and go beep, 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 and go through it to finally see who gets to win, and you'll see my reactions on the actual pay-per-view. As for the next match that I'm going to go through and have a look at, and it is going to be the Tag Team Championship match, as representing the New Day will be the Tag Team Champion, one, it will be Biggie and Xavier Woods taking on the Prime Time Players! And for me, I think that the New Day are going to win. And then I really, as much as I really want the primetime players to win this, the New Day are going to retain the tag team titles. I honestly do not think it's going to be who I would like to win this one. But... Yeah, I, I think it's going to be the New Day that win this one. Absolutely down. I mean, I, as much as I want to see the primetime players win this one. As I said before in previous videos, who I think and who I want are two are completely different. Who I want is what I is basically, what I, you know, people I'm going to cheer on to win. Who I think is who the WWE have booked to win. So, like I said, there is two different positions between them two, for both. Now, going on to another championship match, the Intercontinental Championship match between Ryback, the newly crowned Intercontinental Champion, Albert Hurt, <laughs> against the freaking Big Show, um, who doesn't seem to want to retire, um, but I have no problems with him in at all, so I want and I think 
right back here. I like the Big Show. I respect that he's been in the business for quite some time. I'm, if he was to retire, the people would be like, where's Big Show? You know, but who cares? You know, it, so what if Big Show's been around for a long time? So has John Cena, so has Triple H, so has Kane. You know, you got so has Randy Orton. And people don't seem to be going on about that. Big Show's been there longer than John Cena. Who the fuck cares? If we didn't have all these old guys in there and just had the new guys, I actually think WWE wouldn't be as entertaining as it is. They need to keep the balance between good, the old guys, the, the veterans, to show the... Because the, who would be around to show the new guys how things get done around here? It's like any place. You know, even the place that I work at. I, I was a new guy once, and now I'm the veteran. I'm showing off my skills to show other people what they have to do and how to do it. This is a job, people. You can't complain of, oh, I'm going to retire. That's bullshit. You do not. The only time I like to see them retire is when they're like 60 odd. If someone like Hulk Hogan or The Rock appears on TV every once in a while, that's good for me. You know, I grew up watching those guys. That's good for me. You know, that's just because they love doing what they love doing. But back to the money in the bank. As I said, right back all the way here. I think they're going to they booked him to win and I want him to win. Going on to another fellow champions. We got the United States champion John Cena taking on Kevin Owens for the second time round. I think that John Cena's going to win this one, but I want Kevin Owens. But on the other hand, will they get Kevin Owens to win again? Meh. I don't know. I was wrong and kind of right about the match the first time round, but this time round I think it's just going to be a bit of redemption for Cena. Why they're having the second match I don't know. They'll probably have a third one down the, the, the line. I think the next pay-per-view is Summer's Man, but correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section below. Meh. It could go either way here. They pulled off a fantastic match at Elimination Chamber. Uh, can they do it again? They might steal the show. Who knows? Now, as I said before, we have the uh, money in the bank ladder match itself. We have seven competitors. Seven competitors here. We have Neville, first time, first time in the line in the money in the bank ladder match. We have Sheamus. He's won, he's been in a Money in the Bank match before, never won the Money in the Bank though. He's former WWE Champion, but he, he beat John Cena in a tables match, I think it was back in 2010, I think, maybe. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. Randy Orton, multiple time World Champion. I think he's like, oh, I think more than 12 times, 13 times, I think. He's won the WWE, even the former Money in the Bank winner, cashed it in against Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam a couple of years ago. We've got former Money in the Bank winners Kane and Dolph Ziggler. Wait, that's, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. So you got Dolph Ziggler. So we got... Neville, Sheamus, Randy Orton, Kane, Dolph Ziggler, who have both won the Money in the Bank and, and cashed in successfully. We have Kofi Kingston, yet again, so that's like the sixth person who's been in multiple Money in the Bank matches but never won. He's pulled off some really big stunts and he's gotten himself power bound through the ladder. He's probably had a, a bit of history with Sheamus and where he's in, been in the same number of matches he is. They might collide a couple of times, and of course, the main man, Roman Reigns. I'm going to tell you a little story in a minute of who I think is going to win this. 100%. Who I think and who I want. Who I want to see this match win this match it isn't Randy Orton, but it's Neville. That's who I want to win. It won't happen, and it probably won't never happen until maybe a couple of years from now. But who I think is going to win is Roman Reigns. For his why? I'm going to go straight to the ladder match. 
the London match between the WWE Champion Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose for the fucking fifth, sixth time. Yet again, these two are going to collide. Two balls are going to collide. Now, personally, I really want to see Dean Ambrose win. We saw that at Luminous Chamber. He can beat Seth Rollins. He all he has to do is climb the ladder, undo the briefcase, and become the uh, um, briefcase. Undo the, the hook and become the champion. The same thing goes for Seth Rollins. But here's what I think is going to what, what I want to see happen. Not think what I'd like to see happen, and it would be best for business. Whether it be Seth Rollins or Dean Ambrose, but it would be perf more perfect if it was Dean Ambrose. If Dean Ambrose was to win this ladder match, then you know he's you know he's funny, yeah, he's done it for real, he's beaten Seth Rollins for real. So Seth Rollins is on, you know, he's out, he's he's out in the ring, and you know he's he's lost after being beaten, you know, after beating, you know, took another maybe a couple other spots here and there. Look, and he's injured, he's been worn out. Then what happens? There's a certain hit, theme song that hits. Dun, 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 dun. The money in the bank where Roman Reigns comes down to the ring. Oh my god, what's going to happen? Is he just going to say, hey, I could cash this in any time? Or is he going to say, hey, I could cash this at any time? And I'm going to cash it in now. He comes into the ring. He super, he Superman's punches. Dean Ambrose, he spears Dean Ambrose. He gives the briefcase over to the ref. The ref rings the bell. The announcement is made. The following contest is from the WWE Championship. And Roman Reigns is cashing in his money in the bank. Dean Ambrose is like, oh, Gronky gets back up. They ring the bell. Spear! Dean Ambrose is out cold. And in comes for the cover from Roman Reigns. One, two, three. That. Is what I think is going to happen at Money in the Bank. Might not. He might cash it in later on, but I still think, either way, we're going to see the cash in from Roman Reigns, some down the line, some down, down the line against either Dean Ambrose or Seth Rollins. Or, Seth Rollins, he climbs the ladder, he wins the match, same thing happens, but he's still the good guy. He catches it. It's a bit redemption. Uh, where he get the Superman punches him. He spears him. Does exactly the same. Catches him. One, two, three. At the end of the night, I predict that we are going to see a WWE champion. But it ain't going to be Dean Ambrose, and it ain't going to be Seth Rollins. Obviously, Seth Rollins or Dean Ambrose will win the championship either way, regardless. But at the end of the actual night and the beginning of Raw, we want it won't be Dean Ambrose or Seth Rollins as the WWE Champion. I say that at the end of the night, the championship will be around the waist of Roman Reigns. So that has been my prediction. So money in the bank. Not only do I think that the New Day will retain the WWE Champion Championships, that that Nikki Bella will retain her championship, Ryback will retain. His championship, and the and Roman Reigns will win the Money in the Bank. And I also think that maybe possibly for just a fate, we'll have Dean Ambrose win the championship. That is my predictions. I hope you have your own prediction. Put them in the comments below. You know, I will upload this as soon as I possibly can. Perhaps even as soon as I finish making this video. I am Dan Orbity Three Two Thousand. Also known as Dan Two Times Ten, saying see you at the review of Money in the Bank. Bye bye, people.